Bale ngayon is future worth method naman ang subukan nating alamin kung ano. Tapos ngayon, ano ang future worth method? Ang future worth method ay inaalam kung ano yung as in yun, gaya na rin sa salita. Ano yung future worth? Kung dati kung sa present worth ay kinukuha natin yung worth nung kahit anong bagay at present sa future worth naman hinahanap natin yung worth niya in the ayun in the future same lang siya sa selection guidelines pagdating dun sa present worth din kapag greater than 0 ang future worth ibig sabihin mar is met or mar is exceeded ibig sabihin g ka dun sa alternative na yun tapos analysis of alternatives using fw values is Applicable to large capital investments, prime goal is to maximize the future wealth of the corporation stockholders. So, ang future wealth, kung nung dati sa ano, is as a function of interest, di ba nung dati sa present worth, meron din tayong ganito, as a function of interest, ang future worth ay equal sa Summation ng lahat ng FK1 plus I raised to N from K is equal to 0 to N. So, ito lang din yung future given P na nagiging 1 plus I raised to N. Ito lang din yun. So, ibig sabihin lang nito is summation siya lang lahat ng future worth. So, yun. Example na agad tayo. Example is ito. British Food Distribution Conglomerate purchased a Canadian food store chain 75 million pounds 3 years ago. There was a net loss of 10 million at the end of one year. Net cash flow is increasing 5 million pounds per year starting the second year. And this pattern expected to continue for the foreseeable future. Ibig sabihin, this year is nag break even na yung net cash flow. Tapos, ang MAR is 25% per year. So A, ang question sa A is, the British conglomerate ay may nag-offer sa kanya na 159.5 million pounds na French company na gustong bilhin yung binili niya dun sa Canada. Use the future worth analysis to determine if the MAR will be realized at the selling price. So check natin kung Hindi ba sila lugi kapag binenta nila yung Canadian food store? So first, lagi is, as usual, gagawa tayo ng cash flow diagram. Yun. Cash flow diagram. So first year, ito yung year zero. Ang unang nangyari is, nab nabili nila in 75 million pounds. So ito yun. 75 million 75 million pounds Pangalawang nangyari next year non is may net loss sila ng 10 million pounds May net loss sila ng 10 million pounds Tapos nung since 5% <coughs> 5 million per year ang inaangat daw nung cash flow Ibig sabihin, sa year 2 is, ito ay 5 million pounds na lang ang negative nila. Ito ay 10, ito yung pula. Tapos, this year is, wala silang negative. Tapos, ang sabi naman dito sa A, this year is inoferan sila ng 159 million kung ibibenta nila. 159.5 million. So, ang I natin is equal to 25. As usual, I is equal to MAR. Ayan. So, FW analysis. So, future worth is equal to unay natin dito negative 75. Naganto na lang muna in terms of million na lang. So, negative 75 
given ka ng present. Gusto mo future. So, future given present. 25% 3 years. Plus, negative 10 million ka dito. Ganun pa rin. Future given the present. Kasi ito yung hinahanap mong future equivalent eh. Kung itong lahat bang ito, kung lahat ba ng ito is pag inequate mo dito, papantay dito sa 100 sa ino-offer nung French company. Ngayon, FP 25% 2 <coughs> Tapos, plus 5 million na lang, negative 5 F P, 25%, 1. Tapos, dito is future worth na niya to eh. Ito na yun, bale, plus 159.5 na lang. Bale, ito ay magiging is equal to negative, 75, 1.25 raised to 3, plus negative 10, 1.25 raised to 2, plus negative 5, 1.25 plus 159.5 Ngayon, itong una ay magiging is equal to negative 146 million point 48 store natin sa A plus ito ay magiging tanggalin ko sige, plus Negative 15 million point 625. Store natin to sa B. Plus negative 6.25 million na store natin sa C. Plus 159.5. Bale, ang FW is equal to <coughs> A plus B plus C plus 159.5. I equal siya sa negative 8.859 million pounds. So, ang decision natin dito is since FW is greater than 0, dapat, ibig sabihin, hindi maaabot yung 25% na mar kapag Dun sa 159.5 million dollars na offer. So, yung next question natin is, if the British conglomerate continues to own the chain of, own the chain yung ano, yung stindahan, what selling price must be obtained at the end of, at the end of 5 years to just make the mar? So, check natin. Drawing ulit muna tayo ng cash flow diagram. Hmm. So, una is yung negative 75. Pangalawa is may loss siya pa rin ng negative 10. Pangatlo, may loss siya ng negative 5. Label ko na muna yung years para... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Tapos pangatlo, walang movement dyan. Kasi mag, ah, ano pa lang. Sa pang-apat is meron na siyang plus 5 million. Sa pang-lima, meron na siyang positive 10 million. So ano daw ang future worth pagdating dito sa and now 5th year bale yun ang future worth is equal to negative 75 times fp 25% pa rin tapos 5 plus negative 10 fp 25, 4, 
plus negative 5 fp 25 percent 3 sa ito yung 3 sa third year blanco kaya mag skip na tayo plus 5 times fp 25 percent 1 na lang yan plus 10 na kasi yun na yung future is equal to negative 75 times 1.25 raised to 5 plus negative 10 plus times 1.25 raised to 4 plus negative 5 1.25 raised to 3 plus 5 times 1.25 raised to 1 bali yun na plus 10 so ang lalabas na future worth is future worth is equal to negative 246.81 million so ibig sabihin at least 246.81 million niya ibenta sa end ng 5 years para mabawi niya yung mar na saktong 